Susan Speakman says, uh, my grandmother um, raced in the Powder Puff Derby twice in its early years. Powder Puff Derby is a, uh, a race for uh, female pilots only. Do you have any thoughts on women as pilots? I do. Um, uh, women are, are terrific pilots, needless to say. This is not a this is not a activity that requires physical strength, uh, and it requires finesse and it requires hard work and and uh, dedication and uh, competence and all those other things so uh, I've had uh, my flight uh, instrument instructor was a woman and um, and they make superb pilots needless to say the only thing I really wanted to say about the women pilots thing for those women out there who may want to be flying on this and happen to be single uh, there are two areas of my life I've experienced the greatest gender imbalance if you want to meet men, ladies, learn how to fly. Because something like 93% of the pilot population is male. And guys, if you want to meet women, get into horseback riding. Because something like 95% of that is female. I've been, uh, I, I dated briefly somebody who was a competition equestrian uh, rider. And um, you go to one of these events and it's nothing but women. And really trim women too, but by and large are really in great shape. It's just like you know, if socially, if you're interested in that kind of thing, it's a benefit for you. Um, of course, if you're a male looking to find a date in f- aviation, you know, good luck with that. Uh, uh, the one thing I will warn women about with pilots is my, my favorite joke, you know, what do pilots use for birth control? Uh, and the answer is that their personalities. Uh, it's um, it's uh, pilots can be a little cantankerous. They're some of the most free people out there. They're a bit like cowboys in that regard. They don't like being told what to do and they don't like uh, being told what to do. So, um, but I- as far as, you know, women in aviation go, and more and more of them every day, uh, most of the air traffic controllers I'm hearing now, the, n- the newest breed of air traffic controllers are female, and they're terrific. And they're not as much of jerks as the, o- some of the old air traffic controllers, tower controllers, could be genuine dicks about things. They need to be firm and they need to be stern when somebody makes a violation, I get that, but some of these guys were just affecting safety by being so nasty, um, the, um, they just are just, they got so nasty, some of these guys, that you wouldn't want to talk to them, even though you should be talking to them. You, you, let's say, for example, you had a question on, if somebody reads you a clearance or something, and this guy's been such a, just such a D-bag to everybody, because you get to hear everybody talking on the radio, not just you, and you hear this guy just thinking, there's so much attitude, and you think, am I cleared to, did you say make a left, bi- I, should ask him, but I don't really want to. It's not safe. And these guys should be written up. And I've reported a couple of controllers who I thought were obnoxiously compromising safety by being such jerks. Um, And I've never had that problem with the women that are on on the towers. They're just nice as can be. Um, But like I said earlier, uh, it is, um, it's very intuitive. It's very, uh, and it's also very logical. my friend Dana, who I bought the Sky Arrow with, who's I'm so such close friends with, who's my girlfriend for four years, and uh, she, I got a 96 on my private pilot's license. She got a 97. I got a 96 with a 25-year running start. I mean, I've been studying this and passionate about it, and 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 you know, it's, it's all I cared about. It's all I read. It's all I did. It's you know, simulators, everything. I got a 96. She got a 97, and she came at it from a dead stop. She didn't know anything about the aviation world. She'd been um, a skydiver and done some hang gliding. But um, uh, other than that, no. Actually, I realize I have one of these things upside down, so I do have a couple more questions. Um, so, yes, ladies, if uh, it's something you're interested in, you really should do it. And uh, I think the thing I would like to just say about this in general is it's so good for you, not just in terms of the, the fun of flying. It's just such a great... Um, regimen for kids you know if you got a kid and and they want to fly they can't be they can't be goofballs they've got to study they've got to really apply themselves they've got to have discipline they've got to show a fair amount of courage a fair amount of uh, certainly a lot amount a lot of focus they're great 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 qualities um associated with becoming a pilot in terms of making good adults out of your children i cannot recommend it highly enough um, Victoria Smock said, would like to know what the patches and pins represent on my flight suit. The flight suit stayed in the closet for 25 years. I got it back out for the long easy um, because I fly with a parachute now uh, just because I fly mostly by myself 
uh, and um, it's handy in a way that the seat cushion isn't. Um, but everything on the flight suit is from my uh, glider days. So uh, there's a Soaring Society of America patch. Uh, on the one shoulder is a, a bronze uh, badge. It's got an N on it, I think, for North America. Uh, soaring is a real international sport. The Europeans are real big into it because it's quiet, doesn't burn any fuel, and it's not expensive. And they can do it off of grass strips like the weenies that they are. Um, but um, they're great soaring pilots, though. So. Uh, the so the um, the bronze badge is a is a badge that the Soaring Society of America awards for distance and altitude, and on my little um, leather uh, wings that I designed myself, uh, there's four little enamel pins: A badge, B badge, C badge, and bronze. I think, which is probably where I stopped in terms of soaring. There's a silver and a and a gold, obviously, and um, and I was so into it in the in the days you know it's a when you were there is something to be said for a flight suit uh especially in the um in the glider and in the long easy these are very very cramped um environments they're very very tight um and you're reclining and the flight suit has you don't have to worry about your belt scratching up the things you don't have to worry about the belt overlapping your 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 harness and causing hot spot and and there's ten thousand pockets in your thighs and you know, your shoulders and your you know, they're, they're really pretty great plus they look cool that's the main thing yeah. I'll tell you how efficient they are but we just wear them because they look cool um, so um, most everything on that flight suit is uh, as a result of um, Soaring Society however I got the L-39 patch as a result of having spent some time flying the L-39 so that's going on the suit I've got a CENTCOM patch given to me by the guys down in Tampa and I'll put that on and while I'm reluctant to put military patches on my feeling is if it's if it's awarded to me by the people as a sign of respect or whatever, then maybe you've earned that patch to some degree.